Don't you hate it when small YouTubers will use a, uh, a bigger YouTuber's name in their video title in the, in the feeble attempts of getting more views? Yeah, that really bugs the heck out of me, too. I mean, what kind of desperate... Um, but anyway, so I recently found uh, Hand Tool Rescue's YouTube channel, and I've been kind of addicted to watching the stuff that he, he uh, restores and takes apart and puts back together. And I noticed he uses this wrench like a lot and uh, he actually makes these and sells them on his on his store and I thought it would be kind of a cool a cool little tool to have he actually makes three different sizes there's a small one about that big then this is a medium one then there's one even bigger than this and um, if I remember right this was fifty dollars I think I don't remember exactly and you can choose to get a, a brass nut, normally it's steel, but I literally ordered this like on my birthday, so I felt like I deserved the extra the extra three dollars for the brass nut. So you do pay an extra three dollars for the brass nut, plus I'm just kind of fancy like that, so I went with the brass nut. And uh, in addition to the wrench, he also sent a little sticker, so uh, I'll be sticking that somewhere. But if we take a look at the wrench, um, one thing you'll notice, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fairly heavy, uh, nice thick steel, uh, nice cut finish. You know, it's not like all polished and nice and shiny, uh, which is fine. I mean, it's got a really, uh, I actually prefer that kind of a finish and texture. Uh, but something else you'll notice, it's kind of a, well, I wouldn't call it a fine pitch thread, but it's finer pitch than a normal adjustable wrench. So you can actually clamp down on that pretty tight and you can act, you can actually get some uh, some good clamping force on this. Um, so obviously it's an adjustable hammer. Um, so you can adjust that to hammer two nails at the same time if they're spaced different lengths apart. Um, I just noticed it's numbered. I've got, well, 13,888. Is that, has he really sold almost 14,000 of these? That's crazy. Um, but uh, I've got 13,888. And something else I'm noticing, um, hold on, I was kind of afraid of that. That, um, yeah, look at that. He sent me a metric one. I kind of wanted standard. Um, I don't do a lot of metric work. I don't know if I should send it back. Uh, I don't know. You know, I guess it'll be okay. I'll just save it for what are with whatever metric stuff I do. So it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. By the time I box it up and ship it back. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long to get another one. But um, anyways, uh, just make sure you specify standard or metric for, you know, whatever one you get. Um, but I like watching a lot of different YouTubers. I like watching people make all different things and do different things. You know, I've got guitar builders I like watching, even though I'll never build a guitar. I, I admire the, the, the craftsmanship that goes behind it. And uh, same thing, like there's a couple of boat builders I like watching. I'm never going to build a boat, but I admire the craftsmanship and the work that goes behind it. And still, I can learn new techniques from these other YouTubers. And, and I find myself like going to work and telling my colleagues and friends about, you know, this new YouTuber that I found and the stuff that he's building. And uh, I'm thinking, well, why not just share that with, with you? Um, I mean, that's kind of what YouTube is all about. This is one thing I really like about YouTube, is people helping each other and learning from each other and, and uh, learning new skills from each other. And that's the main reason why I do YouTube videos, so that, you know, maybe if you're building the same model I'm building, you can learn stuff from me. But also the other way, like remember when I was building the Tesla coil, I had a lot of questions with that Tesla coil, so I reached out and asked you guys, and I got a lot of good response back, and I got a lot of uh, questions answered from you guys. So YouTube is a great resource for learning from each other. I, I recently got a, um, uh, a, a comment. Um, I did a YouTube video several months ago about rebuilding my Logan lathe, and somebody left a comment, and that really, I, I didn't know how to take it. Um, he basically said, get over yourself. I've restored 
three lathes and or three or four lathes and two or three milling machines and I don't make videos about it. And I'm thinking, well, that doesn't even make sense. So was he telling me that just because you do stuff, you shouldn't make YouTube videos? So I replied back and I, I forget exactly what I said, but um, I said, I said, maybe you should make videos with all of your experience and you're not making videos. It seems kind of selfish that you're not sharing your wisdom because uh, maybe if he would have made a video about one of the lathes he restored, maybe I would have learned something that would have been helpful for restoring my lathe. So anyways, I didn't quite get the point of his comment. Um, and then he actually replied back to my comments with like an LOL and whatever. And he didn't even address how I replied back. It's almost like he didn't even read mine and he's like trying to be all friendly and stuff. So maybe that's just how he is. I don't think he was trying to be a jerk. Um, but uh, that just might be his personality maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so I bought the wrench uh, because I think it's cool and it's a good way to support someone else's channel. And um, it could come in handy. Um, but uh, And plus it's cool. And, and I just wanted to share. Um, so if you've not seen Hand Tool Rescue, check him out. And I'm not, you know, I'm not doing this to try to get... <laughs> to try to get more views on my channel. Um, you know, he doesn't need my help. He, uh, he he's, he's a much bigger uh, channel than mine, much more subscribers and viewers, and which is fine. I'm not like jealous or anything. Um, so that's not, that's not the point. And I was thinking maybe I would do a video like this, you know, I don't know, once every month or two, just kind of talking about someone else's channel. Um, and just to kind of share what other people are doing. So anyways, uh, this guy does a lot of uh, vintage tool restoration. Uh, he'll he'll have like an old like power tool or hand tool. Um, he's done a few different lathe rebuilds. He did a gas powered washing machine, bunch of cool stuff. Uh, you know, small hand tools to big power tools. It's, it's mostly a lot of old vintage stuff um, and not just tools, other stuff, but um, but uh, he, he does some cool stuff, and I just wanted to uh, share my new toy, my new tool, and thank Hand Tool Rescue for providing, well, I paid for it, uh, I guess for taking my money and shipping it to me. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to stop rambling now. Go check out Hand Tool Rescue. He does cool stuff. Maybe in a month or two I'll talk about some other YouTuber's channel. Um, and yeah, I don't know how to end this video, so I'm just going to stop talking. Until next time. As always, thanks for watching.